Hi everyone, Henry from Enterprise DNA here. In this video, we will be talking about Microsoft certifications related to the Power Platform. Now, a few words before we begin. Certifications are always useful because they enable you to tell your employers that you have skills in certain areas and tools. But, especially for Microsoft, they can be expensive. It's about $165 for the exam, plus if you want the paid instructor-led option, then you have to invest about $1,000 to $5,000 per training session, which is very difficult. It's also unfortunately super confusing. There are a lot of different certifications out there, and I couldn't find one tutorial that goes through the Power Platform once, which is why I made this video. Now, before we start, Microsoft has role-based certifications, not product-based. So it's more so the roles that you're looking for, things like data scientists, functional consultants, IT managers, instead of product-based exams like uh, Power Apps Beginner to Advanced or something like that. Uh, Microsoft has certifications for everything, Azure 365 Security, but in this video, we'll only cover the plat Power Platform. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. This is a full list of certifications within the Power Platform. You have your fundamentals, you have your associates, and then you have your expert level certifications. You first start off with the fundamentals. This really gets you the sense of the business case and the terminology used within the Power Platform. It's very useful for managers who don't necessarily develop in Power Apps, Power Automate, or Power BI, but instead have teams that do. And because of that, they want to make sure they use the right terminology and need to know what they can do and can't do with the Power Platform. We then move to the middle section, which is the associate level certifications. These are certifications that are for users who actually develop within the Power Platform. And there's different roles here as well. There's App Maker, which is a very basic way to basically understand how apps are developed and how workflows are developed. You then have a functional consultant where you basically apply your app and your workflow and your Power BI reports towards a use case, towards a project, for example. You then have a divergence over here, which is PL300 and DA100, which is actually the same course, or sorry, same certification, that's really focused on Power BI and how you can use Power BI as a data analyst. And finally, you have PL400, which is the highest level associate certifications for the Power Platform, where you really develop full solutions with the Power Platform. So solutions that combine Power Apps, Power Automate, Dataverse, virtual agents, and Power BI together in one cohesive solution. We then move on to the expert level certifications. These are certifications that require prerequisites that require you to take one or more associate level or fundamental level courses. This is if you want to become an expert in the field and an evangelist uh, and also want to be recognized for your Power Platform expertise. So there's PL600, which is strictly only the Power Platform. And then there's also MB600, which combines Power Platform as well as Microsoft Dynamics 365. Both of these are what's called a solution architect. In those exams, you actually get a use case or a business case that you need to solve with Power Platform, or in the second case, Dynamics 365 as well. Now that we have a basic understanding of the roadmap for the Power Platform certifications, Let's go through them one by one to make sure that we understand them in detail. I'll go through them fairly quickly, but feel free to pause the video as there'll be a lot of information on the screen that I've put in. Let's start off with the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals certification, which is PL900. In this certification, you look at all four Power Platform products, but as you can see on the skills section of this slide, you only look at the business values core components and use cases of these applications. So you're not really designing any applications, any workflows, any reports, but instead you're defining the advantages, disadvantages, what they can do and what they can't do for a basic understanding of the Power Platform. We then move on to PL100, which is the Microsoft Power Platform App Maker. Again, for this one, there's no prerequisites and you are using Power Apps, Power BI and Power Automate, but you aren't using Power Virtual Agents or Dataverse and instead focusing on the AI builder component of the workflows and application development. 
But here, as opposed to the fundamental certification, you're actually designing and creating apps and workflows and actually using Power BI to create reports, which is, again, a lot different than what you were doing the fundamental level certification. Next, we have PL200, again, which doesn't require any prerequisites. And this is the Power Platform Functional Consultant Certification. Here, you're not looking at Power BI and you're adding in Power Virtual Agents and Teams. And in the skill level, you're doing a bit more advanced things than what you were doing in the app maker role, right? You're configuring Microsoft Dataverses. So you're actually going towards that solution architect role. You're creating apps and workflows like you were before, but you're also implementing and mixing with them Power Virtual Agent chatbots, which is, which is very tough. And you're also integrating your current existing apps and workflows to other apps and services that Microsoft has and third-party services as well. Next, we have a bit of a curveball, which is the Power BI Data Analyst. Now, a note on this, it used to be called DA100, but it recently got renamed to PL300. Now, a lot of people still call it DA100, which is why I've included both names over here. Prerequisites, again, none. And in this one, you're focusing solely on Power BI. So you're doing your you know, your basic Power BI tasks, preparing, modeling, visualizing, and analyzing the data within Power BI. To top it all off, we have PL400 or the Microsoft Power Platform Developer Certification. In this certification, you're using Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power BI, but it, there's a more technical flavor to this. You have strong applied knowledge of Microsoft Power Platform services and an in-depth understanding of their capabilities, boundaries, and constraints. You're really called for to design, develop, secure, and troubleshoot existing Microsoft Power Platform solutions. So if we look at the skill set, it's really reflective of that. Creating a technical design, configuring Dataverse, extending the platform beyond, and integrating it with the business's current workflow, for example. Now let's move to our expert level certifications, PL600, Microsoft Power Platform Solution Architect. Now, this is really for current solution architects or senior consultants or you know, people who aspire to be those things. In this one, you're really responsible for leading successful implementations and focusing on how solutions address the broader business and technical needs of the organization. So the skill set level here is very general. You're basically looking at a business problem and determining what they need to solve for and then architecting and implementing that solution using the products that are given to you. Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, and Power BI, but also now Microsoft Azure. For example, you might be quizzed on how to use Microsoft Azure storage account or blob storage for their solution. How to use things like Azure Functions, for example, with Power Automate as well. So this is really taking all that you've learned in whatever associate level certification you have and extending it to the full solution architect uh, workflow. Here you do have a prerequisite. So this is the first course we've seen now with a prerequisite. So you need either PL200 or PL400. So you need either the functional consultant level associate certification or the developer uh, associate level certification. Recall PL300 is only for Power BI. That's why it's not a prerequisite here. Finally, we have MB600, which is another expert level certification, very similar to Power Platform Solution Architect, but it also adds Dynamics 365 as well to the mix. So in this one, you need PL200 or 400, like what we saw before, but you also need a Dynamics 365 functional consultant exam as well. Dynamics 365 is a whole host of other products, and what Microsoft wanted to do is to create a certification that really showed both Dynamics 365 skills and Power Platform skills into one. So the products you see over here are the same products you had seen before, because you have Power Platform and Microsoft Azure, but now you also have Dynamics 365 that you need to worry about as well. But the skill set is the same. You're basically performing solution envisioning, looking at the requirements, uh, creating a solution, and then implementing that solution for your business needs. Now that is the full list of Power Platform certifications. One thing I do want to note 
is that the only ones that require prerequisites, again, are the expert level certifications. So how you would really envision yourself going through this is determining A, what level of knowledge do you want to know about the Power Platform? Do you want a very basic understanding of what it can do and what it can't do? If that's the case, then the fundamental level course is right for you. Instead, if you actually want to design or create workflows, apps, and reports, then you should choose an associate level course. After you've done that, then B is all about determining what type of Power Platform user do you want to be? Do you want to make apps? Do you want to apply apps, workflows, reports to uh, certain you know, business case solutions? Do you want to just focus on Power BI and looking at how you can analyze data within Power BI? Or do you want to become a full-fledged technical developer within the Power Platform? So people usually only do one or two of these associate level uh, certifications. You don't do all of them. After that, then you look at the expert level certifications. So after that, do you want to then take your Power Platform knowledge to the next level? And if you've taken PL200 or PL400, do you want to become a solution architect where you combine the Power Platform with other Microsoft products like Azure to develop a full solution for a business? I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions by commenting below. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.